welcome to our channel in this session we will discuss elimination of left to factoring before going to eliminate left to factoring first of all you have to know what do you use left to factoring consider a production or consider a grammar such that a tends to alpha beta 1 alpha beta 2 alpha beta 3 and so on followed by some non terminus gamma 1 gamma 2 and so on if this is the given grammar okay observe the non terminal a contains more than one production suppose 1 2 3 so on n if more than one production on the rhs contains a common prefix contain a common prefix then that is called left to factoring what is the thing and what is the problem see this one production number one contains alpha production number two also contains alpha production number three also contains alpha at least more than one production contains the common prefix then it is called left to factoring then what is the need for elimination of this left to factoring so what is the two types of parser one is top down second one is bottom up in top down parser the concept is start from the starting symbol and step by step move on finally you have to derive a string you have to derive a string for example in the process of string derivation if my string starts with alpha remember if my string starts with alpha then from a which production you have to consider this one or this one this one we don't know why each production starts with alpha but if you starts with alpha if you are selecting this one assume if you are selecting this one during the derivation the remaining characters that is string characters are not at all available then what to do backtrack to again the start state consider this one if it is okay then fine if it is not okay again you have to move this one why because we know the only the first thing but we don't know the remaining things that means we have to eliminate this common prefixes such that it is very useful for the top down parser to derive a string how to eliminate the simple procedure for each and every common prefix production write a new production among all the strings what is the common prefix alpha write down the common prefix here not only a single character alpha in the sense any number of common prefix followed by some a dash now a dash followed by so first two common prefix now a dash is either beta 1 or beta 2 or beta 3 beta 1 or beta 2 and so on now observe first two we are selecting this one that is starts with alpha based on the next two character and the input string we are selecting either this one or this one this one that means compared to this one this is the better one remember here gamma 1 gamma 2 the terminus are written as this this is the way to eliminate the left to factoring eliminate left to factoring now we will discuss the same thing with by considering an example suppose uh, write down the example consider one example s tends to b s s a a s this is the first two production this is the first two production b s s a s b this is the second production this is the second production b s d and a this is the given grammar in this grammar what is the first step identification of common prefix is the first step so b b b okay terminals are not at all considered remember the thing terminals are not at all considered so b is common to all the productions check not only a single character you can check until the common prefix now check b s b s b s b s okay now here we have s here also we have s but here we do not have s here we do not have x 
that means the common prefix is such that it is common in all the productions now what is the common in all the productions bs this is the common this is common this is common now how do we eliminate left factory s tends to write down the common prefix bs followed by some s dash whatever it is create a new non terminal create a new non terminal s dash now s dash tends to first to write down clearly s dash tends to the remaining all the productions s a a s slash this production s a s b slash this production here this a is common is it fine or not check so under s dash s a a s s a s b terminal is not at all concerned again we have a common production that is a common prefix s a and s a then what to do then what to do again you have to replace this one the process is repeated until elimination of left to factoring now s dash tends to s dash tends to s a some s double dash s double dash tends to this prefix as slash this one s b here the terminal b now this is not present in the answer the answer contains first statement b s s dash <coughs> now s dash is replaced with either this one either this one s a s double dash or terminal is not at all important s dash is replaced with this one or this one this is the way to eliminate non uh, to eliminate left to factoring consider any example string suppose if a string b a a a a, a. assume if this is the string what is the procedure first to yes starts from this one or this one starts from this one so s tends to b s s dash suppose i am doing left most derivation now b now this s is replaced with s is replaced with which one so depending upon the string if i required s is replaced with either a s or simply a is sufficient i required depending upon the string now s dash b a s dash is replaced with either this one or this one that is this one or this one suppose the replacing with this one s a s double dash suppose b a this is replaced with a this is a s double dash is replaced with this one or this one here it begins a terminal so replacing with this one a s suppose b a a a a s is replaced with one you got it simply in the top down parser at the time of derivation of a string it is very easy if you are eliminating the left to factoring thank you